What's going on YouTube? And welcome back to another edition of Uncommon Sense. This is the summer edition for men's fragrances for summer 2021. On this channel, we talk about all things fashion, fragrance, style, mental health, well-being. So if you're into that type of content, sit back, relax, and we're gonna get into this thing. We'll be back after the jump. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. That's my way. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. That's my, that's my way. My number 10 spot, Clean Endless Summer. This is a floral fragrance, more or less unisex. Floral, heliotrope, vanilla, violet. I'm no stranger to the house of clean. It's so fresh and sexy. I just love the fragrance. When I think of this fragrance, I think of summertime. It's a fragrance that I absolutely love. And I'm gonna be rocking this one out for summertime. The ladies dig it as well. It can do no wrong to me. Do yourself a solid, give it a shot. It's made the number 10 spot on my top 10 for summer 2021. Coming up to our number nine spot. Bogart Story Green by Jacques Bogart. This one's spicy. You got cardamom, pineapple, a lot of folks do not rock with this one. I rock with it, and a lot of people don't think this one is a summer fragrance. I'm, I'm fine. And it's a fragrance that's inexpensive, and I happen to dig it, one, because it's an uncommon scent, and because it's a fragrance that I tend to enjoy on my skin. It's fresh, it's spicy, it's kinda got that mint type of spiciness that I dig, and it's kind of got kind of an older gentleman type of sexiness that I kind of dig as well. And it's a fragrance that a lot of people are not gonna rock with. The fruitiness in it is understated while still being fresh enough to be cool for summertime. <laughs> Coming up to our number eight spot, Kenzo On. This is a fragrance that tends to wear on the lighter side and it's perfect for those cooler summer days because I feel like this one reminds me of like a summer breeze and it also reminds me of days at the lakefront. Rest in peace, Kenzo. Air is on the side of wearing just a lot lighter, but it's perfect for the cooler days when you got a nice summer breeze, crisp white linen shirt, and you're gonna go to an all white party rooftop maxing and relaxing, nothing too crazy. Those days where it's like super duper warm and it's humid, this might not be the tips, but those days where it's nice and kind of crisp, you get a nice breeze, hold yourself down in this one, maybe take a decant with you, boom, you in the game. Kins are on. That's where you want to be when it's nice and light, when it's nice and breezy. Easy, breezy, beautiful. Kins are on. Number eight spot. I'm going to put you on. Number seven spot, Al Haramain. We got Laventure. This is a Aventus clone, birch tar, pineapple. You guys know what it is. It gets the job done. You guys don't already have Aventus. You know the DNA. This to me is a very close clone of Aventus. If you have Aventus, roll with that. If you don't, I like this fragrance because I like the dry down of this one because it does smell like the barbacoa style. Kind of like barbecued pineapple. It's done amazingly. Dope bottle too. Number six on this list comes from the House of Clean again, and it is Love Rag. This fragrance is so refreshing. I think it's perfect for summertime. This is also a perfect fragrance to layer with. I love these types of fragrances because you can really get an energizing effect 
for summertime. To be fresh, clean for the summertime, those are the best type of scents to care. Fresh, clean, and sexy, those are my perfect types of adjectives. This is always gonna be something that'll be in my fragrance. This is something I'm always going to suggest to the fellas, to be fresh, clean, and sexy. So, one, be clean, be fresh, be sexy. Can't have one without the other. So number six goes to clean love rack. Number five spot goes to CK Summer. I could not do this list without CK Summer. I didn't think that C I would like CK Summer as much as I did. I did a top 10 of this one, I think last year or the year before. And I love this one a lot more than I thought I would. And I hose myself down. This is one you can't over spray. And this one is a fresh love fresh fragrance. In that, this is one you can't over spray. So we're just gonna go ahead and lay it on. Boom, just like that. It's citric. It's sexy. It's alluring. It makes you feel good. It's a mood lifter. It's on point. So if you've not tried CK Summer, and it's not expensive either. I may have paid $25 for this fragrance. And it's happy with bottle. That's gonna do it for the number five spot. But this 2021. This one came out in 2019. I don't care if it's two years old. I have quite a few fragrances here that are not new. It does not matter. The fact of the matter is, do they smell good? Are they at a price point that I want to pay? And as you guys know me, are they uncommon scents? I'm tired of all of the same fragrances. I know you guys are too. You know what I mean? And of course, there are some that are just, do they smell good? If they smell good, cool, we rock, you know, whatever. This is one. So get your hands on it if you can, rock it out. That's gonna do it for the number five spot. Number four spot is gonna go to Franck Olivier's Eau de Fashion Intense is supposedly a clone of Chanel's Ego East. But this fragrance stands on its own to me. They do smell a little similar, but at 25 bucks, I'm gonna roll with this one each and every time, just because the quality of this fragrance at this price point, you can't beat it. I like Chanel. But Chanel is never on sale. And at this price point, I'm just with it. You know what I mean? This one's a bit more accessible. I get a little bit more for my money, I feel like. It smells great. You feel me? So, this is the number four spot for Uncommon Sense. Coming up to our number three spot. One of my favorite designers. And fragrances. Moschino, you got it. Moschino Toy 2. This fragrance smells like kosher wine. This fragrance is marketed toward women. I don't care. It's my number three. It smells like liquefied gummy bear of wine. Kosher wine and everyday beauty. Fresh to death. It's what summer should smell like. Oh, it's just so fresh and sexy. A lot of people hate these bottles. I just don't care. It's fun. It makes me happy. It's number three. Come up to the number two spot. We got a very affordable fragrance in the number two spot. Tommy Bahama St. Bart's. Vacation in the bottle. Lime, mojito, sea salt, a getaway. I may have paid 20 bucks. It's an escape. Get a paper. <laughs> I enjoy this fragrance and I don't have to break the bank for it. It is summer time. This is summertime staple. You know what I mean? And 
it's just it's a fragrance that takes me to the motherland. The islands call me home every time I spray this fragrance. So with that being said, this has a special place in my heart and I've never been there, but I feel like I get a call every time I spray this on. I feel like they function home. Anyway, this is number two. You guys have not smelled this. Get it on your skin and enjoy it. You made it to the top spot. Number one is gonna go to Carolina Herrera Chic. And that is because this fragrance is a good time. It has watermelon notes. It reminds me of one of my favorite fragrances from Creed, Millicent Imperial. Too many batch variations for me. I do not own that fragrance. But it has that type of vibe. Mm. Very much enjoy that fragrance. This is one of my favorite fragrances from Carolina Herrera. And the watermelon note in this one is Barna. One of my favorite fragrances from the house of Carolina Herrera. Number one spot. Summertime staple to me. I can wear it year round, which I do. I wear it whenever I want. But my favorite time to wear it is summertime because it is just that damn good. My own complaint about this fragrance is this cap. I hate this cap. But it does not matter. It's so beautiful to me. Summertime is when it comes alive. And it just smells so tropical and beautiful on my skin. But that's going to do it for this top 10. Let me know what you're going to be wearing this summer in the comments. Let me know what you thought of this list. Let me know what you plan to buy for summer 2021. Let me know what you guys are thinking about the channel and share with me your thoughts. It's been your man on Common Sense and I love you guys from the bottom of my heart, the top of the sides, and all the way around the rhythm. I'm lifting up and I love all you as well. And until we meet again, I love you. Till next time. All right, y'all. Wow. She is so nice.